Hey, this is Ben from Tech Lockdown, and today I want to show you a free way to block a website on either a Windows or a Mac computer. There's a file on your computer called the host file, and all you have to do is add the websites you want to block to this file, and your computer will block them without you having to pay for any software. Just to give you a quick idea of what we're doing so you know that I'm not having you do something malicious to your computer, every website on the internet uses an IP address, which is just a series of numbers to associate a, an address like facebook.com with the address that the computer needs to point to for that website to work. So using the host file, you can basically override the IP address that your computer tries to associate with that um, domain name like Facebook to something that doesn't work or doesn't exist. So in this example, I'm adding 0.0.0.0 facebook.com to the host file, and that's just telling my computer to go to this IP address instead of the one that Facebook uses. And that basically simulates the website being blocked. Now you can use this example to add your own list of websites manually, or you can use these pre-curated lists of host file entries for things like social media, adult websites, gambling websites, things like that. So you don't have to manually enter this in, you can just copy and paste it. And you should check out the guide in the description to get a, a list of these websites. So you can just copy and paste it yourself. So to get started, I'm gonna show you how to edit the host file on a Windows computer, and then I'll show you how to do it on a Mac. So to get started, you're gonna go ahead and open up Notepad. A really simple way to do this, just open your Windows start bar, search for Notepad, and make sure you open this as an administrator. This won't work if you don't open Notepad as an administrator. Then you need to open the file explorer and find the directory that has the host file in it. Once you're in that directory, you need to show all the files because it's a hidden system file that normally doesn't show up when you browse to it in Notepad. Once you're done making your changes in the Windows host file, you should save Notepad and then you may not immediately see the website is blocked. It, it could take a few minutes. If you want to speed this up, you can do something called clearing your DNS cache. And this just involves you opening the command prompt program as an administrator and then just entering this command that uh, clears the DNS cache so that you should immediately see the website is blocked. If you want to edit the host file on a Mac, you need to first open up the terminal application. A quick way to do this is to just open up Spotlight and search for terminal. Then you need to enter the command sudo nano slash etc slash hosts into terminal, press enter, and then enter your Mac's admin password. All that command is doing is saying to open the host file using the special editor your Mac has with an administrative privilege. You'll need to use your arrow keys on your keyboard to scroll to the bottom of the file, and then you can paste in the host file entries based on what you want to block. Once you're done and you want to save your changes, you're going to have to hit Control X on your keyboard and then hit Shift Y. Normally it can take a few minutes before you actually see that these websites are blocked, and this is just because of something called DNS caching. So if you want to see your changes immediately, you need to clear your Mac's DNS cache. And you can do that by entering a command into terminal. You might be wondering why I use two entries when I'm blocking Facebook, one with just facebook.com and one with www.facebook.com. And that's because there are some websites where you really need to block both versions. But honestly, in most cases, you're fine with just blocking the domain without www prefix to it. The downside of the host file approach is that if you're trying to use this to block like a category of websites, like adult websites, you're gonna find that you're constantly editing this file to add new websites that you found that need to be blocked to that list. So it's not really a good approach if you're trying to block like an entire category. It can be useful for like maybe the top thousand well-known domains in a category. But if you want something really comprehensive, the best thing to use is a DNS content policy because that just gives you a really simple service that lets you define the categories or apps or keywords that you want to block. And then they handle the complexity around the millions of websites that need to be part of that list. If you'd like to try out a DNS content policy, go to techlockdown.com and sign up for a free trial.